Hi, welcome. I'm Robert Halley, and this is a Kundalini yoga practice. Like all forms of yoga and any other practice, listen, what's going on? We want sensation, not pain. Feel free to modify for your knees, for your back. But also with Kundalini, we're not doing advanced versions where we roll the eyes to the third eye. So if you have that in your practice, I trust your discernment. Other than that, today's Kriya is about elimination. It's very unique, very dynamic. We're on the floor, we're standing, this, that. So I'm really excited to share this with you. We will find our intentional moment of what needs to be eliminated, released on a physical level, mental, emotional. So just know that just be in the mindful moment, let it unravel and let the recipe work for you. Awesome. <laughs> we meet on our mat. Maybe you have a bolster or a blanket. Rock right to left, forward to back. It's always an option to sit on something to lift the sits bones. Just some mindful settling. You may use your hands to pull away the muscle under the buttocks. Breathe in, shoulders up. Breathe out, together and down. Inhale, shoulders rise. Out. Together, drop them down your back, palms down, gently rub your thighs, bring the energy down. Ah, feel that you have a body. Take this gentle, compassionate touch into the palms, rub them together, but not necessarily fast, slow. Maybe there's more weight interlace say hello to your fingers i got you grab your forearm and slowly circle it go towards the elbow you may even put your fingers in the muscle the tissue that we work so much mobilize the wrist gentle right to left rotation switch grab your forearm the nice way to get present is to grab yourself i'm here oh that's going on in the body thank you body thank you wrist arms play some piano keys very unique piano it's all around we wiggle the fingers to stimulate the brain. <clears throat> Inhale, reach out right to left. Exhale, gather that cosmic ball in front of your heart. Inhale, let's continue five mindful cycles. Exhale. Breathe in, palms kiss to prayer. Breathe out, thumb to sternum. Gently close your eyes. Or soften your gaze. We tune in with Om Namo Guru Dev Namo. It's a mantra to evoke the teacher, the guru within you to support your practice, but also to acknowledge yogic's roots in India and other parts of South Asia and to tap into this golden chain to be supported by all those in this ancient practice. Breathe in. 
in the hands and let them kind of scan your body where needs your love maybe you just want to have an energetic bath touch your legs your back anywhere there's no place off limit the erogenous regions it's your body and where needs your love some soothing offer some circle massage could be your temples, your eyes, the heel of the palm over the eyes. Mm, natural breath. Does your jaw need some release? Little circle moments, almost like a key in a sacred chamber, which is you, circle the heart. And now land your hands on the same area or two different areas and breathe. Maybe it's your lower back. Empty the navel to the spine. In through the nose, air to the bottom of the lungs, ribs expand, chest lifts. Exhale, chest down, navel back. Continue, breathe in, ujjayi, long deep breath. Breathe out. We slow down, connect with pranic in. Out. What role does this part of your body play? What's the love and support that wants to be given to sustain, to restore? Pick another area of your body or two different areas. Five mindful breaths. Open, bridge the breath, the body for our practice. I love to remind you that you are your own teacher, healer, doctor, guide, in a collaboration with those we trust and resonate with. Breathe in. Breathe out. The hands align back at the heart to ask yourself the most powerful question, why are you here? Why? You can keep it simple, one word, or maybe you dedicate this practice to somewhere. Our theme is elimination. Where have you been accumulating? Too much information, maybe some overeating, or just eating too much of one food group. <laughs> A relationship. Mm. 
Inhale, lift your head, blink your eyes. Exhale, push this word forward. Inhale, reach right and left, open to receive. Exhale, lower your hands. Beautiful. Send your legs forward. Rapidly, just point and flex, alternate. Inhale, lean back. Fingers point away from you. It's almost like you're on a beach. The heart is open, walk the hands together. Feet close together, point to the left and down, to the right and up. And look at your toes, look at your ankles. Can you evoke more mobility? You can play with the speed. Switch directions. Beautiful. Inhale, flex the feet, look up. Exhale, point the feet, look down. In, flex, gaze up. Tone your legs. Exhale, point, look down. Beautiful. Walk your hands forward. Soles of the feet touch. Gentle butterfly. You can flap your wings in a gentle way. Stay lengthened in the spine. Pull your heart forward. Breathe. Feel your breath in your lower back. Awesome. Choose the angle, however close the heel to your perineum. Grab your shins, breathe in, arch up. Breathe out, fold at the waist, lead with your heart. Tuck your chin, roll up, vertebrae by vertebrae. Almost fall back, but you catch yourself. Exhale, dive forward, hinge. Continue to breathe as you rise, inhale up. Exhale, fall forward, your own time. Inhale up, take it to the left, I am your mirror. Inhale, roll up center, exhale. Bow to the right. Inhale, up. Exhale, bow to the left. Inhale, up. Exhale, bow to the right. Inhale, up. Exhale, bow to the left and stay there. Maybe you walk your hands forward, let the back round. Five mindful breaths. Feel the magnetic anchor in your right sit bone to the floor. Breathe in, breathe out, stay down and just walk your hands over to the right. Just lift your head torso just enough to hover. How far over to the right can you go? Find the edge, exist there. Let gravity meet you, open the back body. Where can you soften?
breathe in, breathe out, walk back to the center, even it out. Let the upper back round, give in to gravity, head drops. Feel the body still, but the ribs float. There is a life inside of you and you acknowledge it. Breathe in, breathe out, tuck your chin, inhale, roll the spine to rise, hands walk back, exhale, inhale, reach your arms overhead, exhale, they land to the left, sweep your legs around, one last warm up, you're invited to explore table, Downward facing dog, plank, upward facing dog, or a cobra. This is an intuitive warm up. Continue to move through these shapes. So you're in table, maybe there's a little cat cow. Then the toes tuck, we rise the hips up. Downward facing, maybe there's a pedal. Shift shoulders over the hands, tone the abdomen. Maybe the knees stay up or down. We lower, or maybe you just sink the pelvis if the back is warm for an arch. Back to table, maybe we introduce child's pose. Sit bones on the heels, forehead down. I will allow silence for a minute for you to play. Sometimes in the structure, there is freedom to play in the container. If you feel called to hang out in one, Asana over the other, do that. 30 seconds. Breathe in, tuck the toes, breathe out, engage the arms to your chest. Inhale, lift the knees, find your inverted V. Breathe in, bend your knees, look forward, breathe out, hop or walk the feet. Gently fold chest to your thighs, soft knees, grab inside your elbows, rock right to left. Shake your head, yes, for the investment. and know to what's gotta go. We move into our Kriya for elimination. Soft knees, tuck your chin, roll the body up. Turn, stand up, face towards me. Feet hip distance apart. Soft bend in your knees, tilt forward. If the back gets fatigued, just come up at a diagonal, but the goal is to look down and just have a little bit of a pendulum in your arms. The hamstrings will engage. And so I do recommend a little bend in the knees. Very full, powerful breaths. 
So it is a flat back. And that's why if you get fatigued, you just come up at a diagonal angle. But the goal, the full expression is down here. It's a good opportunity for mouth exhales. We do build strength in our yoga practice. Sometimes it really pushes the edges. Things come up. Hold your head and walk through them together, okay? The arms linked to the heart. Let this work on a subconscious level. Keep the eyes forward on the path of peace. Just under a minute. Again, if you're fatigued, you come up, you go right back down. Out through the mouth is an option. You can do the nose, filter the air. 30 seconds. Just like a pendulum, it builds, it builds. 15. Loose wrists, loose fingers. Five, four, three, two. Inhale, stand up. Exhale through your mouth. Have a little rebound. Maybe you're in regular Tadasana. Close your eyes, soften the gaze. Notice the heart, the muscles. Breathe in, breathe out. Believe it or not, we're going back down with the variation. So yeah, we're targeting kidneys, which help eliminate, cleanse. Don't worry, the, uh, the asanas will balance out. So this time we actually let the eyes go and you go with a bigger range. Go for it. Again, if the back is very fatigued, just come up to 45 degree angle. You're connecting the eyes this time. And play with the pendulum. You don't necessarily have to clap, but if you want to, you can. You can also do that loose motorcycle wrist and kind of knocks. We've seen those silver metal balls. If not, it might be something from the 90s. <laughs> Enjoy. Oh, you're getting a heart open now. Target the kidneys. Cleanse, release. What does that do for my heart-centered life? <sighs> Maybe it feels better for both arms to just go, go, go. If you're getting dizzy, don't change the eyes. Just look down. Just get it into the heart space. You're halfway. Ooh. <laughs> the adventures we go with our mind, with our body, with processing information, emotion. Weight on the toes. Really stick your buttocks back. Under a minute. Uh, you can get really cathartic. Any sounds that need to be released. We're here to eliminate. 30, 30 seconds. 
Go, 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 go. No, no, no. Five, four, three, two. Wine bend your knees. I'll let you collapse on your face to rebound. Lie down, pick a cheek, feel the heartbeat. <sighs> Stillness, silence, maybe breathe into the back. Just be, internally rotate, let your feet sickle. Touch your breath. Please switch the cheek you're laying on. Inhale, return the head to center. Maybe the chin is down or the forehead. You're not going to believe what's next, but it's the last thing for our lower back. Interlace your fingers behind your back. <laughs> Inhale, straighten the elbows, pull your torso up. Exhale, lower down. <sighs> Continue mindfully. Please divide the work. So maybe you point your toes, inner thighs are working. Inhale, straighten elbows, pull, lift, rise. Exhale, maybe you alternate cheek to cheek. The important thing is breathe and move. Connect the inhale against gravity, up. Exhale. Be embraced by Divine Mother. Enjoy. If your arms can't interlace, just have them by your side and lift up and lower down. One minute to go. We strengthen our back as the armor to walk with strength, confidence. You can be a warrior of peace and of freedom to design your life. Craft this grit, this frame, just under 30 seconds. Inhale, separate the hands, palms down beside your face. Exhale, push your right hand to roll over onto your back. No rebound needed. Feet up, 
Bring ease to that back body, feels good. If your hands and toes are available and the flexibility is there, peace fingers inside the big toe, your thumb on the nail bed, of the big toe, and breathe here. If you can't reach your toes, it's okay. Just straighten your legs, touch what you can touch. Calm yourself, send love to your back. Bravo on the commitment. Inhale deeply, exhale completely. We have a dynamic breath connection. Inhale, pull or draw your feet close to your face, maybe overhead if the flexibility is there. Exhale, you return back. Inhale, feet towards your face, overhead. Exhale, lower that back onto the floor. If you need your hands for support, put them down. Inhale, push. Maybe they get somewhere further, maybe they don't. Exhale down. It's okay, whatever the angle is. You get to massage your back, isn't that exciting? So with or without the hands touching your toes, pendulum here, but you don't stay anywhere. Inhale, feet drop towards you. Exhale, souls to the sky. Continue and enjoy. Again, you can push the hands down to help the legs go overhead or grab your feet. Notice the core. Control the pelvis and the feet to the sky. Distribute the work. Remember, the map is not the territory. I may not look like you. You do what you can do and you feel good about it. Just under a minute. Twenty seconds. Inhale, soles of the feet up. Exhale, lower them down, lay on your back. Five mindful breaths in corpse pose. <sighs> Any opportunity or desire to exhale through your mouth. Again, we're here to eliminate, so. <sighs> Breathe. 
Breathe in, breathe out, turn towards me and belly flop. Boom, woo. <laughs> Inhale, lay back on your back. Exhale, belly flop away from me. Use your arms to not hit your face <laughs> and your core. <sighs> Inhale, back to lay down. Exhale, continue. Ooh. Continue your bundle roll. Of course, you want to use your core, less hands, get into the obliques. <clears throat> Let the engine of your pelvis initiate. Massage the meridians in your shoulders. Don't face plant. Ugh. You might feel sloppy, silly. Perfect. Keep going. Inner thighs, core. Please don't hold your breath. Just take on the mission. <laughs> Giggle if you want. <sighs> if there's tension that appears in your face, please just keep a smile. <sighs> Space between your teeth. Notice what comes up for you. In your monkey mind. No judgments, observations. Under a minute. How do you receive gravity? Are you able to pull yourself off the floor when a circumstance situation has you collapse? 30 seconds. Breathe in, lay on your back. Breathe out, bend your knees, let your knees touch. So walk your feet off your mat, knees touch. And catch your breath. <laughs> Giggle, smile. Inhale, float the knees apart. Exhale, lay on your left side. Breathe in, use your arms to press the body up. I lied, go back down. <laughs> Soles of your hands down. They may even form a triangle under your pelvis. Extend your legs straight. Cross your left leg over the right. Inhale, lift. Exhale, cross the ankles and lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, alternate, cross and lower. Continue. If you want some added challenge, you don't have your hands under your pelvis. You can just have them by your sides. If you need that extra support, palms down under the buttocks. Really try for straight legs. Ankles change at the top. Mm. 
Inhale up, exhale down. Awesome. Awesome. More than halfway there. We set our navel point. We target the stomach. All helpful in elimination. Every nerve, every meridian goes through the navel point. Build that fire of digestive juices, of the personal will. You're always choosing. You can choose when and what to say no to. Enough. 30 seconds. Ten seconds. No need to grip your jaw. Four, three, two, one. Float like seaweed. Let the legs open. Soft knees, arms float up. Float. Maybe you retract in a ball and then you extend. <sighs> Fall to lay in fetus, five mindful breaths. Bottom arm like a pillow. Blink eyes, exhale, top arm down. Breathe in, push the torso up. Breathe out, come into a frog squat. So it's not a malasana squat. It's more of a frog squat. So feet are a little more under the sit bones, toes still out. Oh, stay here for 30 seconds, stretch your Achilles tendon. Have a straight back. Fingertips can be down or you can really be up if you want to get into the animalistic. <laughs> but just breathe. Mm. You can have an existential moment. Just look at your texture of your hands. Or take in this moment and presence yourself. Mm. Mm. Breathe in, breathe out, time to play elevator. So you go from froggy frog to elevator up. Slowly stand, but the goal, the task is as slow as you can. So you will feel the burn. Slow, what can you take? What's your edge? You stand, you don't change the feet. They stay in that turned out pizza shape. Then you go down. Knees over ankles, over toes. The heels might fall up. Let them shake. Better to shake now than when you're 70, 80. Oh, send the sit bones back, maybe the torso goes down. Ay, 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 catch yourself. Nothing abrupt. You need to take a breath or two down, do it, but then go. At least three elevators up and down. Really press through the big toes. Natural breath. 
You're stronger, you're more focused than you think. You can walk through the storms of your life. Get out of your comfort zone. Not everything's going to be daisies and flowers, but you can take that sense of grace in the storms. Grit, build that grit. Oh. <clears throat> Shift the torso to help you balance. Feel the heart. Connect with your grit. Mm. 20 seconds. Be brave. The next time you're down, stay down. And find your inverted V. Right shoulder towards me, step your feet back. So an inverted V is more narrow than a downward dog. So you walk in a bit further, toes together. <clears throat> you do frame your ears and your biceps, look at your feet. Inhale, lift your right leg and hold. Exhale, drop your right hip. You can relax your toes. Five mindful breaths. Really spread your fingers. They're a little outward rotated. <sighs> as high as you can go. Breathe in, lift your right leg. Breathe out, lower the right leg. Inhale, lift your left leg high to the sky. Exhale, drop your left hip. Breathe here, really push to your hands. Calm your breath. Inhale, lift the left leg up. Exhale, lower it down. Let the games begin. One breath, one move. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, right leg down. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, left leg down. Continue, you have a minute. Control the landing. See if you can isolate your arms and your torso not to move. Say hello to buttocks. Hamstrings. Again, powerful gracious, committed, focused. These are like big scissors. What do you want to eliminate out of your life? Cut it out. It can be fast and dynamic. Know your capacity with your hamstrings. You have 30 seconds. Slow and controlled, or maybe, maybe very cathartic. You don't even have to know what you want to release. It's going to work. 15 seconds. And. Three. Two. One, sit down, sit down, cross your <laughs> Find Venus lock, interlace your fingers, the thumbs are up. <clears throat> Beautiful breath in, breathe out. And I want you to circle counterclockwise. So that means to the left and back. 
right and forward. I'll let you be with yourself. One mindful minute. It can be very slow. And very subtle. Or it can really fall to gravity and joy. Stay in the magical moment of now. Feel the breath at the tip of your nose. Calm yourself. We may not be able to control external circumstances, but you know tools and techniques to center yourself. Breathe in, center, lift the spine, breathe out, blink the eyes, and in your own version, stand up. We just have three more things standing, and then we'll be down, and these are all very quick. Inhale, feet hip distance apart, flex your wrists, reach up, maybe there's a back bend. Exhale, fold forward. Just a minute like this, inhale. Maybe squeeze your buttocks. If you're gonna arch back, exhale down, enjoy. Remember to release your head at the bottom, top of the head down. You can bend your knees for more control. Stretch your front body so the waterfall can work. Of this micro orbit of up the back, down the front, 20 seconds. Ten. Stay down, bend your knees, find a squat. This time, see if you can do it parallel. Everything's parallel. Shoulders over hips, hips over knees, knees over ankles, ankles over toes, which might mean the heels stay up. Balance, arms up. Just 30 seconds, up, down. If you need to lean forward for balance, do it. Keep the arms up. If it's too much, just bend them, but don't use your hands. Balance, find your drishti. Ooh. 20 seconds. Ten seconds. Five. Three. 
You are complete. Inhale, stand up, wide, wide legs. Just like the abdominal exercise where you switched ankles, you're gonna do that with your wrists. So you reach up, cross up the wrist, breathe in, breathe out, fall to the right. Inhale, up, switch. Exhale, down to the left. Enjoy. Straight knees or bent knees. Lengthen four, five, six seconds in. Same on the out. Last standing posture. So proud of you. We're doing the inner outer work. Thirty seconds. Mm. Build heat. Build self knowing. Five seconds. We are complete. Stand up, breathe in, breathe out, open. Toe heel, walk your feet. Oh, bend your knees, hip distance apart, lean forward, cross your legs. Maybe you sit on something. So close. <laughs> Raise your right hand up. Left hand down, palm down, circle, very tiny circles. Eyes opened or closed, connect to your arm, to your back. Create a tunnel, a vortex of what needs to bloop, to leave. You're creating a tunnel, a vacuum out of you into the black hole of the universe. Black holes. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, drop. Inhale, left arm up. Same thing. Circle. You notice the shoulder lifts, draw it together and down your back. Breathe calmly. Smoothly. Face is relaxed, 10 seconds. Five, three, inhale, lengthen, exhale, just let it go. Breathe in, shoulders up, breathe out together and down. They both get to go to the party. Inhale, arms up, exhale, opposite circle. So you can go inward or outward, honor your body's wisdom. It's small. See if you can isolate your torso, it doesn't move. Micro, fast, eyes opened or closed. Maybe you switch directions. Whatever it's going to take. Or the weight, that story, that opinion, that judgment to leave your heart. It's not needed anymore where you're going. 
10 seconds. Three, two, one, breathe in, reach, breathe out, drop. Five mindful breaths, catch the miracle that is you. Breathe in, breathe out, walk your hands forward onto your forearms. So lean forward on your forearms. We are going to beat the sheet out of the floor. <laughs> Mother Earth is so kind to us, so generous to neutralize, to recycle our pain and our trauma, alternate. You have one minute of catharsis. Maybe it really triggered something. <laughs> you don't need to know what you want to release. Just release it. <laughs> you can add the voice if you want to. <laughs> Put some blankets under if you don't want to concern people in your house. <laughs> You're seeing the future. It is glorious. It is grand. Be the witness. Grace in the storm. Pin is up. If you see better with your eyes closed, the vision of hope, possibilities, and the new world, you can close your eyes. Notice what breath intention can do to energy, to stress, to impact. You can catch those waves of trauma and drama thrown at you, experienced by you, and you can transform it, transmutate with your breath, with your focus, with the self-knowing. Breathe in, breathe out, blink your eyes, chin lowers, sway right to left. And I know I've been telling some fibs that it's the last time standing, but I promise that was it. You sit down, Row the butterfly wings of transformation, fingers down, elbows up. 
You turn to the right with har, you turn to the left with hari. Har, hari, har, hari. If you're comfortable to chant it, you can. Or just mentally vibrate it. Har, hari, har, hari, har, hari, har, hari, har, hari. Har, hari. Go to the extent of the twist. You feel comfortable, stay lengthened in the spine. Har, hari, har, hari. It can speed up. Har, hari, har. Hari, ha, hari, ha, hari, 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 ha, hari, ha, hari, ha, hari, ha, hari. Everything goes through the spine, your nerves, your organ, associations, meridians. Let's keep the spine healthy and flexible. Ha, hari, ha, hari, ha, hari, ha. Hari, har, hari, har, hari. Just under a minute to go. You're doing beautifully, beautifully. Har, hari, 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 har, hari. Har Hari Har Hari Har Hari Har Hari Har Hari Thirty seconds Har Hari 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 Ten seconds Har Hari 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 Breathe in, center the body, palms up, extend to a V. Exhale. <clears throat> Breathe in. Breathe out. If it's too much, just soften the elbows. Receive the abundance, create this portal, this vortex. We did a lot of elimination. And now this tunnel of light floods you, nourishes you, heals you. It's the divine medicine that you've been asking for and it's here, right here, right now. Your mantra is Har Har Wahe Guru. It's said on a monotone, just under your breath. Har Har Wahe Guru, Har Har Wahe Guru. Wahe Guru is I am in ecstasy with all of the universe. Feel it. Feel your creative consciousness and all that is possible beyond beliefs, rules, systems, societies. There is a light, energetic version of you, and you tap into this now. Har Har Wahe Guru, Har Har Wahe Guru, Har Har. Wahe Guru. You need to breathe and hear it in silence. Play with extended V with those tilted wrists. If you need to lower, you do. You extend back up. Short meditation. Har Har Wahe Guru. 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 Har Har Wahe Wahe Guru, Har Har, Wahe Guru, Har Har, Wahe Guru, Har Har, Wahe Guru. Catch moments of breath, halfway there. Har Har, Wahe Guru, 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 Har Har. Wahe Guru, ten seconds. Har Har, Wahe Guru, Har Har, Wahe Guru, Har Har, Wahe Guru, Har Har, Wahe Guru. Breathe in, strengthening the V. Your connection's always there. Breathe out, narrow the hands, a foot apart, 
and track down your upper chakras, the middle chakras, to the lower chakras. You are connected and always tuned in, even when you may not feel like it. Breathe in, breathe out, lower yourself to grace, lay on your back. We are complete. If you have any props to support your Shabbasana, offer that. Resist the urge to stretch or do anything. What is it like to embody, I am enough, I am complete? Let your breath integrate any areas of tension, vulnerability, sensitivity. Let the feet be wider than hips, toes fall apart. Squeeze your shoulder blades together and down your back. Palms are up, fingers curl, or if you need and desire, palms down. Offer that beautiful breath in. Beautiful breath out. Art of rest and transformation and elimination are those moments of calm to stop the doing and to actually be a human being. We take this moment in silence to watch the mind, to let the body integrate and to really practice the art of allowing. For only when you've eliminated, created space in your head, in your heart, in your home, can the dreams find their way to you.
ever so gently. Awareness returns to the sacred space you find yourself in. Awareness returns to the physical space. Let your fingers feel texture of the floor, the mat, clothing. Awareness returns to your breath. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, deepen. Ribs float, belly rises. Exhale, breathe and move. Mindful, intuitive movement. Rock the head. Wiggle toes, fingers, float the arms overhead. Reach into your aura. I guarantee it's different. Keep the arms there. Bend your knees, soles of the feet down. Give yourself a hug. Bravo. Stepping to the edge of your body, of your mind to do the work and what needs to be released. Rub the hands and feet together to wake up, to stimulate fast. And stop, option, hands behind your knees to kick your heels forward, torso up, or fall to fetus. And push to find your cross-legged closing Hands go right away to the heart. Ah, feel the gratitude, the love you have in life and its potential in your potential. May you remember life is giving, life is receiving. To not be afraid to let go when it's causing more friction, disturbance to your health, to your spirit. It's a continual dance. May you have the discernment and intuition. What a pleasure to guide, do this inner outer work, and we seal with Sat Nam. Feel the Sat from the root, it brews up. Nam, psh, just like the last asana, that light, keep the portal open. And then we bow to honor the practice. Breathe in. Sat Nam Sat Nam Sat thumbs to third eye, point. Exhale, we bow. Honor yourself. Honor each other. We honor those doing the work to shift the frequency to love and freedom. There is great love here for you. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. May peace be in and around till we meet again and again we shall. <laughs>